Hi, I'm Cam. I'm Adam. And we play in Sorority Noise. And you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I'd like to welcome you to our interview with Sorority Noise. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Doing Good. great. We're now on this tour with Citizen. Just tell us, how has everything been treating you so far? It's been like the craziest experience, like ever. I've never, we're, this is so, every show has been crazy. I think like 27 shows have sold out. And it's just like seriously not something we're used to, or and I think everyone in this tour is overwhelmingly grateful for like yeah, this completely thing. above and beyond all yeah, expectations, like crushing it. So, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Well, before the camera started rolling, I was speaking with some members downstairs, and they're trying to find where to eat uh, before you guys hop on stage. So, what's been the best meal you've had on the tour? Oh, I actually oh. have a good answer for that. Go one. for it, dude. He um, loves food. I, I'm a big foodie, so like food on tour is really important to me. Um, and I remember when we were in Baltimore, I went across the street. That was the best meal you had before? Oh, well, that's because I spent a lot of money. <laughs> oh, yeah, you didn't get the $5 deal. Yeah, yeah. Oh. No, I'm, well, because I, I heard there was a happy hour deal, so I went over there, and I just went by myself and, like, sat down at the bar. I was pretty tired. And just, like, I looked at the menu, and it was, like, really expensive food. So I, I was like, you know what? I haven't done this yet this tour. I'm just going to, like, splurge. ball out. I'm going to splurge. It's going to be great. <laughs> And I ended up getting like this pork tenderloin with like roasted oh, potatoes wow. and wow. yeah, some mustard green. It was it was crazy. I don't remember what that place was called, but oh, like it was a it butcher was... across from the auto bar, so that should yeah. be good enough Google Maps and stuff. Yeah. yeah so uh, that was the best meal I had this tour. I'm um I'm vegan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, in Arlo's in Austin, Texas has like the most pristine it's like a bacon cheeseburger. And it tastes, I haven't eaten an animal in like a very long time, and it tastes exactly like, like almost terrifyingly close to really? what I imagine it was, would be. And it's, I don't know, have you had a bite of it yet? I haven't. It's yet. like greasy, it's so good. <laughs> and yeah, so that's probably my, one of my favorite spots. Awesome. Well, it's a really exciting time for you right now because you just announced a bunch of stuff the other day. We did. EP, <laughs> massive tour in the UK. Uh, so just tell me a little bit about this new release because your album came out last year. So just tell us about the EP. The EP is very different from the LP. Um, I'm just going to delve into a little... Over the summer we were on tour and we, I had a number of friends pass away. Um, I'm sorry. It, it's okay. It's, it happens and it happened. It continued to happen all the way till November when we were on tour with Knuckle Puck and... It like kind of like it's you know it's it's okay because like I'm continuing to live my life with them still in this place but I was just like I've been thinking about it a lot and so I just like wrote some songs that are very not not I try to be as positive as I can especially with this band because I have different uh, uh, different uh, outputs for each of bands I'm in and so this band I like to try and have the most positive essence as I can but these songs just kind of like were there and I thought it was a proper time and people might want to hear them so I didn't really want to release it after we put it on after it got sent to the plant but I am glad it's out and I, I've gotten some really some really great friends of mine that used to be friends of mine when I was they were younger or when we were younger together have reached out because they knew uh, some of the people involved in the songs and we started talking again and they found like solace in them as did I so it was, it's very cool in that respect so yeah the new one is pretty dismal but it's uh but it's like we're working on a new lp and it's continuing as a combination of all of the music we've been a part of so okay. far so it's not definitely not like where we're staying yeah we're still a very loud band Ever <laughs> <laughs> and then calling it it kindly stopped for me what's the significance behind that for both of you uh just for me really i think i just texted okay. the group one day and was like this is it uh it's an emily dickinson poem um the line is because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. Okay. And uh, I thought of these songs as I have been moving past my suicidal thoughts and, and becoming as much of a person as I can be that is grateful for each day that he spends on this earth. But at the same time, I've had friends that haven't been in the same place as me. So bouncing off that because I could not stop for death, kind of meaning like, because I'm not into dying as much as I used to be, it has stopped for me in the way that I've lost friends but in a way that has made me have a more meaningful life in the process. So it's all very interesting and it's a pretty, but that was one of my favorite poems, so. I really appreciate you sharing that. No problem. <laughs> and you also shared a new video for your track, Nolsi, off the album that was released last year. Yeah. Take me behind the scenes for a second. Was that green screen madness as fun as it looked? 
That was that was definitely one of the more fun things we've done yeah. together as a band. We wore the green men suits. We put them all in a bag after we'd filmed the video, and we brought them on tour. And for Halloween in Arizona, was it? Yeah, in yeah, we played Arizona. in all the green men suits. That's amazing. It was kind of supposed to come out around that time, but then you know, as the <laughs> as the good good people at Adobe Photo uh, Adobe <laughs> After Effects, no, it took it takes some time, and I'm really happy with how it came out. Our yeah. our friend who does merch for us, Zach, I guess. He's like our number one boy. He's always been there. He's been my best friend since like seventh grade. Um, he did the video with some of our friends too, and it, I'm really happy with how it came out. But it was, it was definitely weird. It looks great. Yeah, <laughs> Thank we you. really didn't know what we were doing. We didn't have like a super clear vision going into <laughs> it, and we just like had the equipment. We had the green screen. We had the suits, and we had one day. <laughs> so <laughs> so, it got so weird. we just did it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you were wearing a pup shirt. Or a pub hat, yeah, yeah. fantastic band, definitely yeah. rep them a lot here. The, we were AMV. driving on the Don Valley Parkway today, and <laughs> I kept being like, wow, 100, because they just have this line that's like doing 180 on the Don Valley Parkway yeah. and DVP, and I was like, that's still like over 100 really miles fast. an hour <laughs> when you're talking kilometers, but yeah. <laughs> They're great, and I love them. They're absolutely one of my favorite active bands right awesome. now, for yeah. sure. That tour they're going on with Pup, Charlie Bliss, and uh, Pew Pew Pew. I love and both Roswell Kid. So and much. Roswell Kid, yeah. So, did I say with Pup? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. with Roswell Kid. And that, so that's going to be a really a, an A-plus tour. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, I was wondering, just since you're sporting that, who are some other bands you'd suggest our viewers check out? Ooh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we love bands. Uh, I would say number one. I'll go. I'll give like a bunch, and then you can give a bunch. Okay, sure. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give maybe like two, depending. I'm gonna on what steal one of yours. <laughs> uh, Queen Moo, Xander's, Julian Baker. I sat down with Julian two days oh, ago. Oh really? Such oh, she was here. Yeah. Oh, she's she's Amazing. such a sweetheart. She's the best. I love her. She is so great. She's like such a genuine person. She's and a goof, we, and I just can completely connect with her right away. She's a real goof. She loves donuts. Uh, <laughs> and Good old Dunkin' Donuts. Let's keep going. Um, who, uh, Cat Be Damned is someone I've been listening to a lot lately. Uh, Joe Gilberto. Yeah. Antonio Carlos Jobim. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to listen to Ornette Coleman. You got to listen to Sun Ra. We love jazz. Yeah. You got to listen to Robert Glasper Experiment. <laughs> the new Kendrick Lamar, uh, Unmastered on title is incredible yep that record is fantastic listen to milo mm -hmm. um listen to scallops hotel pine which is also milo's i love how much Grove. music you love yeah oh yeah we are passionate yeah. about music listen to we talked about roswell kid sheer mag sheer mag okay. dude let's keep going how many more <laughs> can we do listen to we're uh, yelling what are we listen? sun organ okay yeah listen to uh marietta they're not a band anymore but they're awesome Dan and Anna Aykroyd is a great band. I love them. Yeah. Like, talk about just craziness, yeah. right? Yeah, them and Tube Lord are two really awesome, like, European bands. Uh, Monobody. <laughs> yep. Snarky Puppy. Uh-huh. Uh, what else you got, dude? Uh, we listen to Always a lot in the Always band. Always a lot. Right. We listen to, I mean, we listen to a lot of brand new, but I feel like they're past the shout-out from us. <laughs> if you watch this video, you've probably heard of brand new. Uh... Modern baseball, is just a, I mean, yeah, they're also yeah. there too, but they're and great. And all modern baseball side yeah. projects, including but not limited to Steady Hands, Slaughter Beach Dog, Broken, Broken Beak. Beak. Uh, uh, Ian's got this new band called Pure Pop that's awesome with Evan from the Super Weeks. The Super Weeks are a band that I would shout out. Uh, Vicky Animal Speedboat. Flag, Vicky Speedboat. Uh, some more like Boston, uh, Boston bands. Uh, <laughs> Some Connecticut bands, uh, Jelani Say, Jelani Say, uh, uh, Cheem, Cheem, mm -hmm. um, All Riot, yeah. All Riot's great. Uh, did we say Pine Grove? Yeah, we that, said Pine Grove. that new band Sam Skinner's in. Yeah, listen, listen to anything that Sam Skinner does ever. He recorded Pine Grove. He's incredible, but he sent me a new record he's involved in. It's phenomenal. Yeah. That that's, covers that's, it. that's good. That's good. Wait, there's gotta be one. <laughs> Donnie Nico. Trumpet in the social experiment. Donnie Trumpet, Nico. Uh huh. Wing Victory for the Sullen is the best band to fall asleep to. Okay. They have this song called um, uh, Steep Hill of Vicod in Tears. They're like a piano violin based band and it's phenomenal. I listened to it last night. Bowling for Soup? Well, we listened to a lot of Bowling for Soup this Can't go wrong with Bowling for Soup. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bare Naked Ladies, we're in Canada. <laughs> Bare Naked Ladies, cool. Let's <laughs> wrap everything up today. Is there anything you want to say to all of your fans? We're going to be viewing the interview. Live from New York. <laughs> it's Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this. 
you don't have to do anything you don't want to. And you watch this. If you got this far, you heard this. Yeah. If and you made crazy. it this far, you and did it. You gave me like probably 15 minutes of your day, and I appreciate that. Yeah, thanks for spending your time with us. This is this is great. Thank you for spending your time with us. Of course, hell yeah. No problem. Thank you for it's a us. lot of fun, so we appreciate it. Of course, thank you. My pleasure. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicvlogia.com for all sorts of interviews, features, videos, and so much what more with your favorite fans. Oh. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>